everyone, my name is Olivia and today I am going to make a pinafore. Well, not all in one day because this is going to be like a week-long process, but today I'm going to tell you about this project that I have been working on that I am about maybe one-third of the way through. I was inspired to make this pinafore after seeing Rachel Maxke post about it on her Instagram and I was immediately in love with the design and the color and I wanted one for myself. Pinafores are not something that is necessarily in style. It's a very vintage piece that is not that easy to find so I thought instead of searching for one in a thrift store for months upon months, why not just make one myself because I have the ability to sew my own clothing. So that is what I am doing in this video. Like I said before, I am already one third of the way through this project and that's because I had to cut out the pattern myself, trace it onto the fabric, cut out the fabric, sew the panels of the skirt together, and I actually just finished sewing the zipper onto the back of the pinafore, which is really exciting because I thought that would be a difficult process and while I did mess up the first time and I had to seam rip all of that out and redo it a second time, I'm really happy with how it looks and I'm really proud of myself for being able to sew a zipper because the last time that I sewed a zipper was in fashion class when I was 14 years old, so that is nearly a decade ago, which is just too much to think about. So now I'm going to sew the back piece of the skirt to the front piece of the skirt. I held up both pieces to the skirt to myself and I realized that I have a lot of excess fabric. So I think when I sew these two pieces together, I'm going to have a very large amount of seam allowance. So then I can cut off the excess fabric and then finish off the seams and then continue working on my skirt. And the skirt that I am using is from this pattern. This is the B5421 from Butterick. And I got this pattern because because essentially a pinafore is just a skirt with a bib and straps attached to it. So all I have to do is create the skirt, attach the bib to it, and put the straps onto it, and I'll have a beautiful pinafore to wear all the time and it's going to make me so happy and I'm very excited for it. So the next step is doing all that that I just previously told you and let's see if I can do it correctly. I'm scared. Here we go. This whole process is just me saying I'm scared and me sweating and me thinking, is this really a hobby if I'm stressed out 90% of the time and the only time I really enjoy the hobby is when I finish a project and I'm really happy with the end product? Is that considered a hobby if it scares me? Who knows? But let's continue on with this project. I also wanted to say I will be linking all the YouTube videos that I have used to help create this pinafore down below because I followed a YouTube tutorial to sew on the zipper and I have been using different tutorials to learn how to finish off my seams and all that. So I will be sure to link all the videos that have helped me down below because this is not just me figuring this out by myself. I am using YouTube and I am using my friend Charlotte's knowledge to be able to do this. Charlotte has been sewing clothes for years upon years and she is much more knowledgeable than me in terms of reading patterns and just like guiding me so I always tell her what I'm doing in my project to get her insight and she's just such a phenomenal person. Something that I completely forgot to mention was the fabric that I'm using. I thrifted this fabric and it is actually previously a bed sheet because after watching Rachel Maxke's channel for months upon months you realize through her that you can easily just thrift bed sheets or tablecloths for a decent price and that can go a long way in making garments and it's a great way to get some fabric that is no longer being used instead of buying new fabric which contributes to fast fashion. So this is previously a bed sheet and this is the back of the pinafore and you can see my lovely zipper. I am so proud of it. It's so straight and beautiful and it works. And I thought this would be a more difficult process, but the zipper is actually pretty easy compared to sewing buttonholes, which I finally taught myself how to do because the initial foot that I used on my sewing machine didn't allow me to sew a buttonhole, which was so frustrating because I want to sew so many different things that require buttonholes. So now that I know how to sew a buttonhole, it opens up so many opportunities for future projects. This one only requires three buttonholes, so that'll be later on in this video when I am finishing up this whole entire pinafore.
front and back part of my pinafore skirt together and I thought it looked weird. So I unpinned it, realized it didn't look weird, pinned it again, sewed it, and now I realize that it was the wrong way. So now I have to seam rip the entire thing, connecting both the front and the back together, and start all over. It's a good thing I'm watching YouTube while I'm doing this because I'm really getting through all the videos in my watch later list. Oh my god, I'm so mad at myself. How did I not see that that part says wrong side and that's the front of my skirt? How did I not see that? How much bigger do I have to write wrong side? Now I have to seam rip all of that. After I already finished the seams too. Oh my god. So I sewed the waistband onto my skirt and I tried it on and I realized that my skirt didn't fit around my non-existent hips and waist. And I was like, what? How did that happen? How did that happen? And I flashed back to when I tried it on prior and I realized that the skirt was too big. I'm going to have a very large amount of seam allowance so then I can cut off the excess fabric. So I did a bigger seam allowance to the last panels that I sewed together, trimmed the excess fabric off, and that made the skirt too small on me, which is a whole mistake on my part. I should have never done that. I'm never doing that ever again. So I had to rip out that panel, rip out the waistband, create a whole new waistband, cut out a whole new panel, sew that onto the skirt, sew on the waistband, finish the waistband, and now I am sewing the skirt closed once again. This is taking me so many hours of time and effort because of a mistake on my part, but I'm slowly but surely learning from this because this is only my second garment, so like I have to give myself more grace and like realize that mistakes are going to be made and it's not going to be perfect on the first try and I'm going to have to seam rip over and over again to get the desired product that I want, so I'm trying to be patient with myself, but now I'm going to pin the skirt together and sew it and see how it fits on me, and hopefully it does, because if it doesn't, I'll cry. I will cry. I've wanted to cry multiple times while sewing this, but I am persevering because I want to look cute and I want to have a pinafore. Dang flabbit. I sewed the entire skirt together and it looks beautiful it's just that the waistband is a little bit too big now like i can't i can't win so i'm thinking because i just sewed this whole entire section i might take this all out seam rip it and kind of bring it in just a little maybe like half a centimeter and that way it'll sit on my waist nicer because right now it's like sitting on my hips because it's not snug around my waist <laughs> We measured everything and my mom did all the pinning while I just stood there like a mannequin and we trimmed the end of the skirt and now it looks beautiful. It's all even. It still has to be hemmed, which I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'm really happy with the length of it. It fits perfectly now. If it's nicely on my waist, it falls very nicely and I'm just very happy with what I have so far. I have messed up so many different times throughout this project, but with a lot of patience and a lot of seam ripping, I am slowly getting to my end product that I want, and I'm really happy with what I am learning along the way. Y'all, I did it! I sewed my first ever buttonhole. This has taken me months upon months and so many crying fits to learn how to do. I finally learned how to sew a buttonhole. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to excuse my appearance anymore. We all know that I look my worst when I am sewing because it's stressful and it makes me sweat because I get nervous. But now I'm going to sew on the bib, but I do have to construct that first. I have no pattern to make a bib, so I'm just kind of going off of what I think 
should happen as well as a YouTube video that showed me someone making a bib. So hopefully my knowledge and that video will guide me in the right direction. Now I just have to work on the straps and then I'll be done. Alrighty, here we go. <gasps> Do you see that? I don't know if I'm going to bring down this bib because it seems a little bit tall, but I'm going to figure that out eventually. But look at it! <gasps> it flows so nicely. I love it. So today I thought I would finish my pinafore and it was a whole slew of mercury and retrograde type of things happening. I was going to sew the buttons onto my pinafore to attach the straps to the bib and those buttons went missing. So we had to drive all the way to Michael's to get buttons, which is such a waste, but we stopped to get frozen yogurt along the way because whenever I get stressed out with this project, I have to have something filled with sugar. So we came home and I sewed the buttonholes onto my straps. So now I'm going to be attaching these onto my pinafore and then attaching my buttons and then the whole project will be done. I still have to like finish these seams on the inside, make sure everything is trimmed and tidy, but the overall construction will be done. And I've had so many issues with this project. I think it's because I'm still learning the technicalities of creating a garment and I really have to take my time and be very patient with this project. Boy, oh boy. It's been such a time trying to finish this bit of war. I thought it would be an easy project and it turns out it was one of the hardest projects that I've done. So this is it. This is my pinafore. I am so happy with it. There's nothing that I would change because I feel like it's perfectly imperfect. I'm not going to say it's a perfect pinafore. It sits on my waist so nicely. I love the new bib that I added because the one that I had previously was a little bit too large and frumpy. So we seam ripped that all out, created a new bib, and it looks beautiful. And I'm so proud of myself for being able to sew this. I did this all by myself. I learned how to do buttonholes finally. I taught myself how to put on a zipper and I'm just so incredibly proud of myself and while i had so many struggles along the way and i seam ripped more than i've ever seam ripped in my life and i got frustrated and it took hours upon hours and days upon days I can finally say that I made myself a garment. I made a second garment and I can wear it and enjoy it and show it off. So I hope you enjoyed this journey along the way and me vlogging my experience of making my second garment of all time. So if you want to connect with me anywhere else, like on Instagram where I'm going to post photos of this pinafore, be sure to check it out. All those links will be linked down below. If you have not subscribed so already and you want to see more videos from me in the future, be sure to do so to support my channel and see more videos from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!